Okay, here's problem uh, 3.3 in the problem solving videos. Uh, it says use nodal analysis to find V0, and we'll be uh, relying upon the problem solving strategy on page 102, uh, which relates to nodal analysis. So here's our circuit. Um, and first thing we notice is that it only contains independent current sources. And first thing to do is let's go through and count the number of nodes. Okay, so if we look, we have a node here, 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 and then on the bottom. So we have four nodes. And from our problem solving strategy, Step one says select one node in the end node circuit as a reference node. And for this problem, let's select the bottom node as a reference node. And that way we can solve for V0 directly. So now we have uh, the reference node. We know that we're going to have three node voltages to solve for. And Let's uh, label this one V1, this one V2, and we'll go ahead and label this one V0. It's the same as that voltage. And if you'll recall, these voltages are referenced as shown on our diagram. So now our three node voltages are V0, V1, V2. So we're going to have to write three equations. And we're going to get those equations by applying uh, KCL at the uh, three nodes where we have V1, V2, and V0. Uh, so let's start uh, with the node that corresponds to voltage V1. And what we'll do is uh, uh, we'll sum currents leaving. Uh, that node through resistances and set that equal to currents entering from sources. So if we start, we have a current V1 over 3K. That's the current leaving uh, through that resistance. Through this resistance, we have V1 minus V2 over 6K. And then if we look from uh, current sources, we have 8 milliamps entering, so that's 0 .008. From this source, we have 2 milliamps leaving, so we get minus 0 .002 milliamps leaving. And so there's our equation, and here's one of our three equations that we need. Uh, let's simplify that. Uh, a little bit just collect terms. So now we rewrite this. We'll have 1 over 3K plus 1 over 6K times V1 minus 1 over 6K times V2 is equal to 0 0.006. So there's our uh, first equation. So now let's write the other equations. So here's our diagram again. Uh, here's our node voltage, V0. And now let's apply uh, Kirchhoff's current law at these two nodes. And again, remember, we're going to sum currents leaving uh, from through resistances and set that equal to the sum of currents entering from sources. So if we start with the middle node, we'll have a current here. And that current is given as V2 minus V1 over 6K. We'll have a current leaving here. That's V2 over 6K. And then we'll have a current leaving in this direction, which is V2 minus V0 over 2K is equal to 0. So there's our equation. Second node, let's simplify it some. So now we have minus 1 over 6K times V1. We have 1 over 6K plus 1 over 6K plus 1 over 2K times V2 minus 1 over 2K times V0. So there's our second equation. Now our third equation we'll get by 
applying KCL at this node. So again, let some currents leaving through resistances. So if we have this current, we have V0 over 1K. And then we have a current leaving here, this V0 minus V2 over 2K. And we have a current source entering, so that comes out to be 0.002 on uh, the right-hand side. And then let's collect up common terms. So this becomes minus 1 over 2K times V2 plus 1 over 2K plus 1 over 1K times V0 is equal to point zero zero two. So there's our third equation. Now, let's solve those. And then quickly, let's just um, rewrite the equations in matrix form. So if we write them in matrix form, this first term be 1 over 3K plus 1 over 6K. This term is minus 1 over 6K. 0 minus 1 over 6K. 1 over 6K plus 1 over 6K plus 1 over 2K. Minus 1 over 2K. And this is 0 minus 1 over 2K. Then we have 1 over 2K plus 1 over 1K. We have a voltage vector, V1, V2, and V0. And then our current vector on the right-hand side contains the following entries. So now we're ready to solve. If we use MATLAB to solve these equations, then here are the results. V1 is 13.4545 volts. V2 is 4.3636 volts. And V0 is 2.7879 volts. And there is our answer.